used by many professional artists as special effects in movies and by makeup artists worldwide as an alternative to photoshopped images because of its flawlessness. And in many ways, airbrush makeup has been dubbed as an art form in itself. And to talk about this method of applying makeup to your skin is Kay Saul Rodriguez, a professional makeup artist and the spokesperson of Tem2 Pro. Hello, welcome to the show. Hi, it's my Wait, pleasure to be here. This is so odd because you were a banker. Yes. And now you're doing makeup. Yes. What made you decide to shift? That's a big change, isn't it? Yes, mm -hmm. because uh, while I was in the bank, mm -hmm. I used to join all the competitions for the extracurricular activities. And I believe that it expanded my artistic reputation when I won all the branch-based and bank-wide activities of the bank. So, parang hobby mo na naging yes, that's where I realized your banking. Yes, that's <laughs> okay. where I realized there's life after banking. Okay, that's, that's why I pursued my passion. And so you went abroad. Did you study yes, abroad? Yes, I went to Hollywood. Okay, well, Hollywood. Yes, and okay. I took up airbrush makeup and film and TV special effects. Why airbrush in particular? Is this the growing trend out there? Yes. It is. Okay, it maybe is. you can talk about airbrush as opposed to normal makeup techniques. Yes. yes. Um, for, well, right now with uh, advanced technology, everywhere you turn, like high definition, um, not just in camera, but TV, online albums, and even phones, well, for you to be able to get that perfect skin finish in your red carpet moment is the airbrush technology. So all of the Hollywood stars, when they go for the Oscars, the Grammys, yes. is it all airbrushed now? Yes, for the red carpet. Especially. And what makes the difference? Why is it extra flawless? Well, because of the silicone base, which actually gives the, the properties of the silicone, gives um, an energy that radiates to give you a healthy glow, which gives you a flawless finish. So this is actually a special type of foundation. Yes. That's with silicone. a different uh, silicone base. Yes. Okay, so what are you going to show us today? Well, I'm going to show you uh, bridal makeup. Bridal is, makeup. Yes. Okay. Right now, that's the trend. And airbrush is for bridal because it lasts longer, doesn't yes. it? Yes. It takes uh, at least 18 hours before it can, you know. Uh, Baka naman matutulog na yung bride, hindi pa natanan well, yung Well, kahit makeup. pang honeymoon, pwede siya. <laughs> All the way to honeymoon. All the way to honeymoon. Okay, so let's maybe we can see some of the techniques okay. that you do. All right. Just a little loud. Yes, a little loud. So for our airbrush, um, we extend the makeup until the chest, shoulders, and back. Okay. Because we so want it's one tone? One tone, yeah. Okay. And we apply it on a circular motion because we don't want to create a demarcation line. Okay. So uh, you will not see the start and the end. Do you go over it with a brush after or is that it? That's it's just it. the airbrush and then you just leave it like that? Um, what's beauty about the silicone base, it's blendable with fingertip air, um, brushes or even sponges for retouches on the sensitive areas like okay. the eyes. Okay, so let's... And then for makeup artists that already have their whole makeup set but want to, you know, change their ways and go to the airbrush, mm -hmm. to the airbrush side, they have to buy the whole set, right? Yes. It's, it's, um, and it's a process that you have to learn all yes, over again? Yes, yes, Okay. Because you need a compressor, the air gun, okay. and the base. Is there a school for that here? Or there are makeup schools here in the Philippines. Or do particular makeup artists, like such as yourself, do you teach other makeup yes, artists? Yes, I also teach. Hindi ka naman swapang sa mga <laughs> skills mo. It is my pleasure. <laughs> okay. And, okay, so that foundation obviously is airbrush, but do yes. you also airbrush the eyes, the cheeks, the lips? It could be. You, you can do that. Okay. But just as a base, so that it will last longer. Okay. But I still prefer to put some color for a nice blending on top of the eyes after the so airbrush. So you don't makeup. go fully airbrush, man. Um, you do fully airbrush for the base. For and the base, for lang. the base. But that the base includes the cheek colors, the contour, the highlights, even the eyebrows and the lip color. And then maybe because I've seen, I've actually felt airbrush makeup, and I thought it would be a lot thicker on, but it feels like there's nothing on yes, your face. Yes, it's next to skin actually. Exactly. But what I've realized is that it's very tedious to clean, isn't it? Well, sort a little of, bit. Yeah. Maybe you can show the different, because you have to take it apart, right? And yes, clean it up. But we have some cleaners that you okay. can use right after each uh, session. You've talked about the advantages of airbrush makeup, but what about the disadvantages? It's, is it a tedious process, really? Well, actually, it just takes uh, some training for the makeup artist to mm -hmm. use it. But for the client that will be using it, it will be a disadvantage, just like any other cosmetics, if you don't clean your face after using it. 
So, so right before going to bed, you just need to wash your face with a daily or regular facial wash. So would you tell other makeup artists, like you say, you meet them and you, you obviously they know that you're you're. I would highly recommend this. this one. You would recommend it over normal makeup? Yes. Really? Do you think yes. that normal makeup will be an outdated trend in, in well, the near future? Or? That remains to be seen actually, but this is the trend right now and you can see the advantages of using this one, especially for high definition TV. You cannot see the, de uh, the pores. Uh, it covers the fine lines. It minimizes the wrinkles. Plus, uh, it gives you a flawless finish. Okay, so now here's the hard part, the price range. The price if someone range. wants to, let's say, start airbrushing, what do they have to start with? They obviously have to buy the whole the set. set. Yes, because how they much, need to. Well, how much um, would this whole set cost? Sprint Asia okay. is distributing this product. Okay. Uh, they can call at 744-6210 and 725-8854 because it comes with the different packages. They have the starter kit, the pro kit, and also the machines are also varied. But obviously for a starter upper, what do they come with only four different colors? What's the starter kit as well, opposed to the pro the kit? The starter kit comes uh, with a set of foundation, with a set of uh, cheek colors, and it's their option if they want the brows, the bronzers, the highlighters. But they have to learn before they yes, obviously get definitely. it. And how do they, but where do the, they the learn that? The kit comes with a DVD. It's a um, home video. Is it easy to learn to do yes. airbrush? Yes, it so is. So if the DVD gets played and you have the set, you'll pretty much know how to airbrush. Yes. If you're a makeup artist. If already. you're a makeup artist, yes. All right. So thank you very much for joining us today. And if it is your wedding day soon, good luck. <laughs> All right. So for comments, suggestions, or you want to see something on Cityscape, email us at cityscape.anc at gmail.com or look us up on Facebook. And that's it for this week. Join me again next time as we discover the best of the city scene. I'm Lexi Schultz. Thank you for watching Cityscape.